Nigel Ayala giving tiny figurines to his new friends. Hi, legendary fans. I'm Gareth. Uh, this is day one for Godzilla. So let's talk the MonsterVerse. Today's video is sponsored by Monster Energy Ultra Paradise, the green one, the sugar-free one. No, it's not. I'm just sipping one as I'm recording this video. So what is good? YouTube voiced you here with a video on the MonsterVerse. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos. Check us out on Instagram at voiced you. If you want to see the face behind the voice, also check us out on Twitter. Voiced you, G, a.k.a. The Maverick. So we have some MonsterVerse official news. But before we get into that, guys, I just need to alliterate and tell you guys the MonsterVerse, Godzilla vs. Kong is smashing the box office but it's also a legendary pictures movie nothing to do with warner bros now as soon as this report came out i got blue that on instagram dms are people going yo war stew warner bros has greenlit another monster vs movie no they haven't godzilla vs kong is a legendary pictures movie 75 percent owned by legendary pictures warner bros owns 25 percent they are the distributor hence why warner brothers paid legendary pictures 250 million dollars to put it on hbo max in Instead of going straight to the box office like they wanted to. Now, if they owned the movie, they wouldn't have to pay themselves, would they? No, no, cool, cool, cool. So this information is coming from a relatively respectable source to a certain degree. It is The Hollywood Reporter. They also said the Snyder Cut wasn't real and it didn't exist. So how credible are these trades? I don't know, but this one's decent, I guess. Godzilla vs. Kong. Director Adam Wingard is in talks for Legendary's next MonsterVerse film. And then people are like, yo, whoosh, you, Warner Bros. Greenlit. It literally says Legendary's next MonsterVerse film. Now, what I find interesting is, I think this is kind of baity because there, there's no actual, if you read the article, there's nowhere is it actually saying this. One possible title being floated internally at Legendary question mark, meaning they're probably making it up. Son of Kong, which is very interesting. So, Son of Kong was a movie that came out in 1933, which is interesting. And essentially the plot was, was the showman who brought Kong to New York returns to Skull Island, finds Kong's son, a spunky 12 foot with a win in personality and his dad. Awesome strength. So yeah, I've never, never watched it, but it seems pretty cool. And to go down the Kong route is kind of obvious because Godzilla versus Kong did essentially focus on Kong rather than Godzilla. And Godzilla's most recent movie didn't do very well. And Godzilla versus Kong is absolutely smashing it at the box office. It was also critically acclaimed on Rotten Tomatoes Yes, I know that's kind of irrelevant, but studios love Rotten Tomato. And yeah, it's just smashed $500 million at the box office, just taking over King of the Monsters. So it's the most successful one to a date, which is pretty, pretty darn cool. So Son of Kong implies who, who's who's the mother? What, where is this son? Is he going to have a son? Has he already had a son? Now we know the main narrative of Godzilla versus Kong was Gia going, your family might be at Halloween. Earth, Hollow Earth. So yeah, maybe it'd be cool. So I'm presuming it's going to be around Hollow Earth, Hollow Earth, around that kind of bit, somewhere in there, because that's where he's left. That would make the most sense. So essentially, it's going to be a sequel to Kong Skull Island. Now, what is interesting is the Hollywood Reporter has learned that Legendary is quietly taking steps to continue the series, or more insta installments. But we already knew that because the CEO of Legendary Pictures came out and said they've got loads of those ideas. Entering early talks with Godzilla vs. Kong, Adam Wingard, to return for another round of Monster on Monster mayhem. Now, it was a bit obvious they weren't going to do Godzilla vs. Kong again, but the Son of Kong is pretty interesting, so it's not a toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Maybe we're going to find out more backstory of Kong himself, which would be pretty, pretty damn cool. He goes on to say, if a deal closes, Wingard would be first helming to return to the monster for since Godzilla kicked off a legendary partnership with Japan, Toho, in 2014, with $524 million in global receipts. So yeah, so whatever the storyline for this movie is, predominantly 
they may have to buy some rights from Toho. So it does go on to say, however, Wingard is said to be very involved in creating Godzilla vs. Kong set pieces as well as the world building for the movie Hollow Earth plot. And he and Legendary have been cooking up plenty of ideas. In fact, one possible title being floated internally is Son of Kong. Now, I think that is total BS because it's like, yeah, internally. I tell you, whenever a YouTuber, whenever a website, whenever a trade puts a question mark, it's like it's 50%. Could be real 50%. This is my idea. So it's interesting. It's cool. We knew there would be talks. I don't know why they'd have to bring Adam Wingard back. Anyone can direct a Kaiju Monsterverse-based movie, to be honest. It doesn't really matter that's him. But I presume because he did pretty well. Well, not him really, but the movie did well. Godzilla vs. Kong did pretty darn well. And it smashed the budget. It had a budget of close to 160 to 180 million dollars somewhere in that ballpark but they did actually start to promote it like years ago so we don't know how much but yeah it, it's made so much money back that it does make sense so son of godzilla could could be cool not son of godzilla son of kong even that makes more sense that would be pretty cool if it was son of godzilla and it turned out to be kong now that would be an interesting storyline now this isn't confirmed it may trigger you guys but generally when a hollywood trade says in talks it generally means the discussions are going on so we do believe that but the son of kong could be kaiju bs but then again guys it, it could actually be real but uh, as you know we cover the mcu the dceu the warstu verse the snyder verse the monster verse we cover a, a bunch of different things on this channel so i thought i'd bring this video to you as you know it's it's kaiju based and we everyone wants to see kong again don't they well i do so it looks like legendary is going down the road of telling a different story with kong maybe they're trying to set up the next godzilla versus kong and as we know this is the same kong from skull island interesting no you're not going to get tom hiddleston or brie larson because they'd be really old now but it would be interesting if they're trying to hype up the next godzilla versus kong but it's actually kong's son it's not kong it's the new kong and then we get a new variation of godzilla that would be freaking insane wouldn't it yes it would watch you comment down below guys yes watch you you're right the son of kong taken on godzilla would be freaking insane down the road four or five years time but there's no time frame there's no time scale to this as we know he is producing thundercats animated or live action i don't know i've not really looked into it but yeah there's no time scale don't be expecting this movie anytime in the next two three probably three years at earliest i would guess so like always guys let's go over some other kaiju monster verse story because why not so yet again credit to the famous website that i really love for kaiju monster verse stuff godzilla hyphen movie and there's an interesting article here where it says Godzilla 3, the next MonsterVerse movie, needs to include one of these classical Toho monsters. Now, I fully agree with that. Although we have got the it came out the same day as the son of Kong is being tossed around, but this does not mean the next film will necessarily involve or revolve around the offspring of Kong or Wushu. This could simply mean it's an idea, the current state of Legendary and Toho affairs. As we know, a deal needs to be renegotiated between Legendary and Toho if they intend to use any more of Tohu monsters, including Godzilla, in any future movies. Assuming Legendary can secure a new deal with Toho, however, actually gain access to a few iconic Toho monsters below are the top three. And I, I do agree, but the new negotiations have to, have to happen, guys, because Legendary owns a bunch of them, but they, they don't own many of them, to be honest. So the first one on the list is Balanti. I've probably butchered that, but that's pretty much how it's spelled. B-I-O-L-L-I-N-T-E. Godzilla 3, Terror of Balanti. Balanti is a prime contender for the Monsterverse. Why? Because she's an Earth dweller, representation of mankind's misuse and abuse of the natural world throughout the Monsterverse Titans. So yeah, I mean, I'll leave the link down below, guys. It's a really long article, but it's just going over a few people who they could potentially use. And to be fair, it's a bunch of characters that you guys always put in the comment section. So number two, Gigan. Probably, I don't know if I butchered it because I'm English, so most of my pronunciations sound pretty, but sound pretty different to how you Americans would. Gigan. So a fan favorite among some monster vs kaiju fans he was a cybernetic monster blending alien flesh with alien robotics to great a devastating opponent godzilla 2 king of the monsters introduced and confirmed the existence of alien life in the monster verse by the way of kodora so we know alien monster rivals titans have visited earth before who's to say kick <laughs> 
Gan is on his way, perhaps with the Ghidorah awake in his cool, which rallied the Titans of Earth, echo through the vastness of space, I'll learn the alien race to come. I mean, guys, that, that would be freaking cool. And it's my favorite one, Destroyer. Godzilla 3 could be Destroyer of the World, but I'm presuming the next Kaiju Monster Vs. movie isn't going to be Godzilla because they have to renegotiate with Toho. But what could happen is they announce this one, then they announce another one. Now, it goes on to say, I'll leave the article down below. It's very difficult to top Godzilla fighting King Ghidorah, Kong and Mecha Godzilla. These are all the iconic top rivals to King of the Monster, but one Kaiju remains the deadliest of them all. Destroyer, the bringer of death, destroyer of worlds. He's starting to sound like Galactus from the MC. You. Destroyer is a title and rival to Godzilla of the entire roster. Destroyer has been talked about and teased ever since Godzilla 2. King of the Monsters fans, we were talking about Destroyer quite a lot. Everywhere have called for the iconic Demic monster to be given a proper Western introduction since the Monsterverse began with a new chapter now on the table. We would love to see Destroyer, Gigan, or any other ones. If you've got any other ideas, drop them down below. Just because they've said Son of Kong doesn't really mean anything, guys. If I'm being honor for you guys i actually think uh the hollywood report has made that part up because it just says he's in talks doesn't say anything else it's not like a quote or anything to be honest i think the son of kong is is made up allegedly allegedly but yeah i think any three of these titans would be freaking cool i think destroyer or gekan would be pretty cool so like always guys check it out on instagram at worst if you want to see the face behind the voice also check us out on twitter worst you gaka the maverick and i will catch you in another video very soon but let me know who which titan do you want to go up against either kong or Godzilla next. And if you know a lot of information about the Toho Legendary deal, drop it down below so some people can learn some information. And I will catch you in another video very soon, guys. Catch you later.